then hey what's up welcome my name is Zay in today's video I will be showing you guys how I achieve my go-to quick little beat this beat is perfect for if you're a youtuber a content creator and you just want a good looking beat for the camera that's one two three if somebody call you like hey baby I'm on my way Get ready in 30 minutes and you need a quick beat baby this is the one that you go to if you just feel like getting cute to just take some pictures and all that good stuff and you ain't got much time to take pictures this is the beat that you're gonna go to okay so if you're interested then um keep watching but before we get into the video if you are not subscribed to my channel first of all i don't know why but I'm gonna just give you the benefit of the doubt and just give you another chance to subscribe anyway. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I promise you're gonna love it here and Zay Nation can tell you in the comments that you're gonna love it here, okay? So now that that's done, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So um, obviously brows is not included in this um 10 minute makeup. Even though my brows really be taking me like three minutes not even but let's let's just get the brows out the way first and now we're gonna get into the makeup if you are new my brows are micro shaded um so there isn't much for me to do but i just like to conceal around them just to make them pop now let's get into the video so when i'm doing my quick little makeup like my quick 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 beat i'm in a rush or i just want to beat my face real cute for for the camera if i'm not going anywhere or whatever the case is quick little fast beat one you always got to start with primer no matter what you're doing so i am using the Too faced primed and poreless pore banishing and blurring face primer this primer y'all i love it i love it i love it so much so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my face generously not generously j just the matters it just matters how much i'm brushing so this is on and i'm gonna rub it in i ain't got no lashes on y'all like the lashes me having my lashes done makes this beat go by so fast but we ain't got that so all right so now that the primer is all in and all prime look how we looking like it literally makes my face look airbrushed like i love that for us so now what i apply to my face typically when i'm doing like my quick beats i'll use whatever product is left over on my brushes as opposed to actually going in so like the next step in this routine would be for me to add some powder to like my oily fit areas but if i'm in a rush i'm not gonna go in with the powder i'll use this brush which i just washed my brushes yesterday so there's nothing on this brush but i'll use this brush and just go in and just dab it in a little but there's nothing on this brush so, and we ain't going in because we trying to do a quick beat so we gonna skip that step so now what i like to use i either when i'm doing a quick beat i either use my fenty beauty skin tint or I'll use my Merit Beauty Foundation Stick in the shade Chestnut. So today we're gonna go with this Merit because I've been really, really, really loving it lately. And it's a stick. The stick, I draw on my face. Like, it's literally so quick because I get to draw my face on. Let me open it and we finna get to drawing. So I just put it all around. Just draw. Let's put a little heart on the forehead uh -huh, so cute but yeah so i'm gonna just put it on and now we're gonna blend it out so to blend out my foundations i go in with my elf ultimate blending brush listen i y'all heard me talk about this brush before this brush is the goods like 
the goods so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend out i feel like i feel like it's kind of dark let me up this brightness one time how's the lighting now is it a little is it a little better you guys i hope this is a little better but yeah so now i'm gonna go in with this brush and i'm just going to blend this in and it starts to look like skin already and when i use this um foundation stick i just go ahead and continue to add in where necessary so if i feel like it needs to be built up for more coverage i'll just go ahead and add some more in once that is blended in all nice and clean i'm going to go in with my maybelline fit me plus concealer in the shade tan 45 and i'm just gonna put that in all of my highlighted areas Next, I'm gonna go in and just blend it out with this brush. This is the Brightening Brush. I don't know how to say this um, brand. And before I go in with my brushes, I always wet them with some setting spray. And we gonna blend it out. I'm not doing any like, like coverage or any extra nothing. When I don't have my lashes in, I blend my concealer on my lid as well. So once that is all blended out, look at the face coming together already and we only been going at it for a couple of minutes. But once that is all blended out, I'm then gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the... Shit. So once that is done, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent, translucent, in translucent honey. So I take this brush, this Real Technique, this Real Techniques setting brush, and I literally just dab it in, shake it off, and tap it in on my face. Like we ain't doing no baking, none of that, none of that. I'm just gonna tap it in. Once that is done, I'm just going to take a flat brush and just go over to make sure that there's no excess powder sitting on my face. Just going to go over everywhere I added powder. And then I'm going to go into my contour palette. So typically, I'd use a cream contour and then I'd use the powder on top of the cream. But we're doing a quick little beat, so we're just going to go in with the powder, which is hitting pan. But I got a new one, but it's still some in here, so we're going to use it till it's done. So I'm gonna go in with this Merit brush and just dab that in and just contour my face. Boom. So I'm also gonna go on and just dab my forehead a little just to bring some warmth back to my face. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But if we want to add a little razzle dazzle we want to do a little something to our eyes but we don't want to like take time to pick up a palette and figure out a look i use this palette as well let me put y'all on real quick so i pick up a brush i go into this contour palette and i use it as a base eyeshadow i use it as an eyeshadow period for the whole lid like the whole lid so i just take it and i literally just brush it on like i'm doing a look and i'm not doing a look but it's gonna look like a look okay i don't even have to take time like take too much time with it literally put it on blend it out look at that what it look like something this is really like my go-to makeup look it's crazy blend it out honey blend it out and a perfect thing about this is that it could go with whatever lip combo that you're trying to put on. So if you're trying to put on a red lip, a purple lip, a nude lip, whatever it is that you're trying to do with your lip, this little eyeshadow, oh, contour shadow, is going to go with it. Look at that. Look like we did something. Again, if my lashes was done, we'd just about be finished. But 
they're not. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the lip combo. So I'm picking up this lip liner from Absolute New York. It is from my local beauty supply store. It's in the shade Chocolate. And I'm gonna go ahead and line these lips. And I typically put on whatever nude pink that I see. The gloss that I have in front of me is my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Pink Cosmo. So that's what I'm going to put on. If I could get it open. Take Pink Cosmo. Swipe, swipe. Boom. It's still going to like settle in too. If you really, really want to make this a very, very quick beat, just pop on some mascara and you're done. Or if you're lucky and blessed to have your eyelashes done, then you're really, really done. But I'm going to put on some lashes, but I'm going to put on some mascara right now. The mascara that I'm putting on is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. Put that on a little bit of lashes that I have left. And you could you can barely see them because my lashes are hanging on by a freaking thread. So now let me put on some lashes and then we'll be back. All right, the lashes are on. I just have on these little dainty lashes that I received from one of these hair brands that send lashes when they send hair. But I like the little natural look. So now that that's on, the lippy is on, everything is done. We just got to set. Oh, I think I just used the last bit of my setting spray. I sure did. So now that we set our face, now we're going to go into the same contour palette and highlight. Boom, highlight. When I do these quick beats, I don't care to do blush. I ain't pressed for it. Sometimes I don't even highlight because my skin gonna, gonna do all the glowing that it needs to, okay? But yeah, so that's it. Let me just do my hair up real quick. Like, it looked done, but it's not done. Let me do it up real quick and then we're gonna close out this video. And we are back. So this is a quick little beat. This is how I achieve it. Look at my cheekbones looking chiseled. This is my fast beat when I need to, when I'm in a rush or when I need to do a beat that I'm going to use to record and I ain't going nowhere. Or if I just want something calm but to still like look beat this is my go-to this is what i do this is how it works fast it's efficient and it's beautiful so yeah but nonetheless i do hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did comment down something below and if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel okay i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video mm.